All right, guys. Welcome back to Half Fast 719. We're gonna start the install of this Black Beauty Black Market Performance. You can go check out check out the link down below in the description. You can go to Black Market Performance. I see them all the time on Instagram. So cool little sticker. Um, so here's the instruction manual. Installation instruction. Visit YouTube channel. Black Market Performance. So I bought it. It's 199 bucks for this, the fittings and everything. And then filters were $22 a piece. So I picked up two more filters. So as you can see, the part number 1R0750 fuel filter. Um, yeah, basically, uh, the reason I wanted to do this, can't even get it off, but the reason why I wanted to do this, uh, modification, I guess you could call it, is because the factory, uh, fuel filters, they cost anywhere between 40 to 75 bucks, maybe even 100 bucks, so, whereas these cat filters, um, I bought them from them for $22 a piece. Um, I don't really have an invoice or nothing. Uh, but, yeah, that was all I got in the big old box. So, it's $22 a piece. Free shipping for all of it. I'm sure there's a minimum for free shipping. So, if it's $100, bucks, you got to buy, I don't know, five of these to get free shipping. Four of these to get free shipping. Um... But yeah, so um, I'm going to go ahead and start taking apart or maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll go watch your video. I've watched the video like 10 or 15 times. I know this goes in to the fuel line. Um, I could probably, what I'll probably do just to make it easier is so that you guys can see is I'll probably assemble it on that engine just so you guys can see how it works, how the install is. And then you'll just have to keep in mind that when you're doing it on the truck, it'll obviously be different. <clears throat> so, um, but yeah, so the parts it comes with, some AM fittings with some uh, barb fittings, some 90 degree elbows. Uh, this barb fitting, um, two washers, Let's get it all out. So this hose here, Gates 4219XL, made in the USA, 3 8 inch fuel line. So they give you about, I don't know, maybe a foot and a half, two feet of that. And they give you the same stuff here. So yeah, probably two, maybe even three feet of fuel line. But they already put this fitting on on this hose so that's already done then you get uh where's that you get two bolts and two washers which i'm assuming is for this the flange and then you get these other fittings here but if you notice there's no no hose clamps nothing like that so i'm assuming that this goes back to the return line and probably one of these go into here. I don't know. I'm going to go watch a video or a couple videos and then uh, I'll come back out. And uh, like I said, we'll put it on there. We'll just walk you through it on there before I go put it on the actual truck. So anyway, I will be back. All right, guys. Welcome back. So I didn't get to get a chance to install my black market <clears throat> cat filter deal. Um, I did, however, paint it black. Black for black. Um, anyway, yeah, so the day I was supposed to install it, I ended up getting called into work. 
and uh, yeah, ended up being a long day, a lot of work, and then uh, yeah, uh, whatever else happened, <laughs> I don't remember. Oh, I came home and it was super windy. Um, so yeah, so I'm just gonna put it back the way it was, and then uh, start working on it. Start changing remove the old filter housing and uh, I don't want to go in there maybe it's the wrong one pretty sure it's not the right one, wrong one there it goes there no 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 anyway um man is it the wrong one oh maybe it is the wrong one I don't know I don't remember how I took it apart. That is definitely not the right one. <laughs> so that's for the water water separator. Um. Anyway, I'll figure it out one of these days. I just got a little paint in it, but it's going. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pop the hood on the fourth gen. I still don't like the headlights. Looks like a chick's a chick's truck. Um, I'm only getting about fifteen and a half to sixteen miles per gallon out of this truck. It does. It is heavier than my previous truck. Um, but yeah, so I gotta take all that apart. Take this fuel line off, the return line, return line, and then there's a fuel line, and of course it's going to get windy. So, I don't think I'll walk you guys through it. I'm just going to throw it on and uh, basically show you guys what I did on this other motor. Or I can show you right now what you got to take off. It's not a big deal. Um... It's my new bench. So you got to take this off. This is your fuel heater. So that's just going to dangle there now. You have a fuel line that's here that I do not have. Um, but yeah, basically there's a clip. You unclip the clip. And uh, like this clip here down here. So you push on you push on that and then slide it off. If I remember right, but what I'm gonna do on this is what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna take this one off here. You have to take this this fuel line off. This is your return fuel line that goes back into here. It's disconnected on this truck or on this engine. So you take this banjo bolt off and you can take this fitting off. And this hose off here um, and then you take off one two three bolts pull this out it's gonna come out this way and you know, up and out um, and then you have to disconnect the uh, oil or sorry water sensor that's in there it is right there so you have to take that off but I'll take all that off once I get this out. And then you also have to drain it. So you turn this counterclockwise. Either by hand, a flathead, or a Phillips screwdriver. And then take it all out. So, um, it's pretty straightforward. Pretty easy deal. Comes with the hoses, comes with the adapters. It doesn't require any hose clamps. Because keep in mind that this isn't where you get all the pressure. I don't remember the fuel pressure. I think it's only like 20 something, maybe 15 to 20 PSI. So the fittings that they, that it comes with will work, will be perfect for what it does um, because it's not like an electronic fuel pressure where you need 40, 50, 60 something PSI. And then uh, once I put it on, I'll put a little lube on this gasket right here 
and then I'll put the filter in. So it came with these bolts here with washers, lock washers. I think I'm going to try to use factory bolts just because I don't like the way those look. And then obviously these are all your fittings. Um, so yeah, let me get it all together. Let me get this all off. Once I get it all off, I'll show you what it looks like off. So I'll be back. All right, guys. The only parts I have left over is these bolts and these two pieces of hose. So let's see. I don't have a filter on there yet. I'm taking a break, but definitely, if you're gonna do this, have a pan under there. I had a water bottle under there thinking that that is going to catch most of it and yeah it didn't so this is as clean as I can get it the install so I got that hose going down there to the feed line from the feed in there this hose is going to the CP3 pump <clears throat> and then that's the uh, water sensor right there However, just like the bank's crap, just make a, I don't know why they can't just make a little extension, because this wire, I mean, I have no, no play in this wire, it's actually pulling on the sensor a little bit that way, <clears throat> I did end up using factory bolts, right in here, so now I'm just going to, uh, i got to find one bolt. I don't know where it went. Um, it fell down there somewhere. Anyway, we gotta uh, put the filter on, purge the system, get some fuel into there, start the truck, and then uh, check for leaks. So yeah, that little fitting's done, and that's all done. It's all black. So uh, let me put the filter on and uh, get all the the system purged up. And uh, we'll come back, check for leaks. Alright guys, let's just, uh, for giggles, let's just see what this filter looks like. So I already cracked it open. It's an inch, inch and an eighth socket here. So, I mean, I can tell it's been changed before because there's, you know, marks on it, whatever. So let's just see what's in this thing. How clean it is or how clean it isn't mm. oh man let me get this thing out mm. oh jeez wow mm. Always keep a file nearby. Ooh. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> oh, I hate diesel. Dang it. Um, whatever. It's already out. It's leaking everywhere. Yay! Fun. What's oh, this leaking there, though? Take it back out. Oh no, it looks pretty dirty. Looks dirty to me, but no clue. Um I would say that is pretty dirty. You can see it doesn't help that my fingers aren't clean. Yeah, that's pretty dirty. I want to say it's probably like maybe man. It's probably a good 50,000 miles. 
I want to say. Um, but anyway, just wanted to show you guys that real quick. And uh, yeah, I'm going to put this out in the barn. And uh, see what happens when I have to do emissions. So anyway, let me uh, get back to the truck, finish it off. I'll be back. No leaks. First fired it up. It went wah 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 wah. Anyway, jet mode. Anyway, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Um, of this install, so black market performance cat fuel filter. So I have two more filters. These are the filters for them. One R dash zero seven five zero. Um, I got two, so that's a good twenty, well thirty thousand miles. So ten, twenty, thirty. So, anyway guys, that's going to be it for this video. I'm going to clean up this mess I made right down there. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be it. Um, maybe I might do my brakes on the Audi. I've got some boxes over there I want to get rid of. And uh, I do have brakes coming for the Cummins. They're coming for the Cummins. They'll be here um, on Monday. So front, rear, brake pads, rotors, everything. So that's going to be it, guys. Thanks for watching. Sorry it's a late video, but working too much. So my next video, I will be doing a uh, another video. Stay tuned for the next video. All right, guys. Later.